A lot of people have asked me, Daniel, how do you get that specific audio effect in your videos? And sometimes it's something like, sounding like your voice is coming from an old school record player. Or sometimes it's as simple as, how do you make it sound like you're underwater? How the heck do I know? But there's a few simple tricks you can do to make these effects come to life in Filmora, and I'm gonna show you how. Let's dive in. Dive, that was a water joke. So let me do this in real time so you can actually see exactly how I did it for the intro of this particular video. So I had my footage already created and dropped down into my timeline, and I cut out the pieces that I wanted to use for the intro. So here's the section where I say, make it sound like your voice is coming from an old school record player. Double left click on that segment, and up in the left, I'm gonna click on the equalizer and I'm going to customize it. The default setting is completely flat. All of these down here are the lower frequencies and then all of these go to middle and upper high frequencies, just like the tone knobs on a radio. So I wanna make this sound like an old school record player, so I'm gonna pull all of the lows right out of this. Let's dive those way down. And I'll take the highs way down as well. So that really what we're pushing is a lot of these mids. I'm gonna take even more of the lows down right in here somewhere so that the mids are really being pushed more. Kind of looks like a rainbow effect. And then I'll click OK. And let me take a listen to what that sounds like. Coming from an old school record player. OK, now it has a little more of that rounded out small lo-fi sound. But I want to get like the crackling effect of an old school record player. These are some things you don't even notice sometimes. Things in the background, the noise, the hiss, the pop. So what I did was I found this particular effect here. You hear that? It's a lot of hissing and popping, almost like a needle on a record player in between the tracks where it's not playing any music. I'll actually link below where I found some of these at the end of the video so that you can get to them. So now what I'll do is I'll take that effect and I'll bring it down into a track below my other audio and I'll have it end right where that ends as well. Let me slice that and then I'll delete the extra over here and that should add that effect onto my voice. Sounding like your voice is coming from an old school record player. That's kind of cool. Okay, so that gives me that effect, but I'm gonna take this a little bit farther. I'm actually gonna grab that piece of footage and I'm going to add a different LUT on that. I gave this LUT away the other day, um, the vintage black and white. I'm gonna add that to this. And now watch what happens is visually it changes along with what you're hearing. Some people don't realize that you don't always just hear with your ears. What you're seeing in front of you can actually change what you're hearing because you're incorporating all those different senses. And the other way around, when you see something, if you add different sounds underneath it, it can change your visual experience as well. So let's change this to black and white. Sounding like your voice is coming from an old school record player. So now that's helping to sell that old school record player thing, but I'm gonna take that one step farther. I'm gonna go up to the effects tab and I'm gonna scroll down to the old film option and I'm gonna click on that extremely dirty film and bring that down into my timeline above the existing main track. That's gonna add some scratches and whatnot to this particular piece of footage. I'm gonna clip what I don't need off the end and delete that extra. And now the entire effect looks more like this. Sometimes it's something like, sounding like your voice is coming from an old school record player. Do you see what I did there? I added a bunch of layers to not just have the voice change, but visually help it change as well. But let me do the same thing with the underwater effect. Now the original audio and video was just me saying the line. How the heck do I know? Pretty simple, right? But what occurred to me was when you're underwater, when you hear guys who are scuba diving and stuff, their voices usually sound very muffled and muted down. So after I said that line, I actually stopped, put my hand over my mouth and said the line again. How the heck do I know? And then all I did from that clip was I grabbed the audio from it and I brought it back to that section and I layered that audio. I detached it from that video clip and I layered that audio underneath and lined it up just by visually looking at it. How, How the, the heck, heck do I know? know? That was close enough for me. You could tweak that a bit and dial it in even more. But all I did was I took the original track, I right clicked on it and I clicked mute. And now it's playing the audio from me putting my hand over my mouth. How the heck do I know? But that alone wasn't enough to make the effect work. So what I did was I'm thinking in my head, muffled and muted. So let's try this. Let's double left click on that new audio track where I'm covering my mouth. Let's go up to the custom EQ settings. Let's try completely killing the lowest frequency. Let's take 63 down to about half. I'm gonna leave the 125 and 250. I'll pull 500 down to half, and then I'm gonna pull all of these straight down with the exception of the 8K. How the heck do I know? I'm liking that. One of the things that I realized is the denoise filter in Filmora 
tends to give a warbly sound if you lay it on too heavy. I'm not using this for taking any noise out, but let's turn that remove background noise on and let's bring it up to mid and let's see if we can actually use that filtering to make it sound a little more underwater than it currently does. Again, think outside of the box, try something different. How the heck do I know? That to me sounds almost like a voice that's behind someone's scuba mask. But the thing that's missing here is I'm not hearing any of the water sounds that you might hear when you think of underwater. So what I did was I went and found a few water sounds from the YouTube audio library. These are free sounds as well. I'll put links down below. One of them is a water fountain bubbling and the other one is large bubbles surfacing to the top of the water. So let's try bringing down the water fountain sound first. We'll put that in the track below. Let's slice that so we don't need the extra extra let's hear what that might sound like How the heck do I know? and then the next thing we want to do let's try bringing down this large surfacing bubble sound now let's take a look How the heck do I know? now i'll play with that a little more and tweak it to get it where i want i wonder if there's any kind of underwater effect we can get with my footage too to get that visual thing happening let's see if there's anything online we can find that'll really help that out i'm going to run over to productioncrate.com this looks kind of cool. Floating soap bubbles. I know it's soap, but I'm thinking bubbles, water, that might actually work. Let me download that and let's put that right on top of our track here where I'm pretending to be underwater. I'll double left click on that and up in the upper left, I'll click on the chroma key feature and I'll use the selector to pull the actual green out. And let's see how this looks all together. How the heck do I know? That's kind of cool. The only thing that's missing is I need to change the color of my film. It looks too much like the other film. I want to have more of an underwater look. What might do that underwater look? Let's try, let's try the cool film lot from Filmora. How the heck do I know? That's kind of different. It kind of looks deep blue sea a bit, doesn't it? Play with these yourself at home, and I'm going to put some links down below in the description to find some of the effects that I used. I hope these tips were helpful, but I want you to think about how you can use this approach in different situations. And also, check out this video over here. I've got more tips on how to use Filmora in different ways. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.